Hello everyone and welcome back to the Build New Crest Legacy Challenge. Today we're gonna do the last residential build we need in this little area of our New Crest world where we're going to build a house for, well, Townsend family. Um, not the ones we're playing at the moment, but this is Drew who is the um, robot Bob's son. So I know it's a little bit confusing if you've kept up with the New Crest challenge. You might know Drew already. Um, he is an alien by the way as well, but if you're new to this series and you just want to watch me build, then welcome, please come, enjoy, enjoy your stay. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're just going to build them a house, so you don't need to know the story, but I do like to build houses um, in mind of, you know, the family that we're actually building for. Okay, so here is Drew in his natural form. He's actually a computer whiz, um, so he's a quick learner, but he also likes to stay active, and of course he's a little bit geeky. So I'm thinking we build him some sort of game room and also maybe a little gym in the house as well. His wife, it, once you get into sorcery, which is interesting, so maybe we'll build a room for her to do her magic. Um, she's a snob, which means that she might like a few things around the house, which make it look, which makes it look more expensive uh, than maybe it is. She's a dog lover, so we'll keep that in mind and add some pet stuff. And she's also evil, which we can't do much with. Um, you know, we'll just leave that as it is. Now. This is the daughter, I believe, of Lana from another marriage, so Drew is her sort of stepdad. And she's an artistic prodigy and she's a goofball, so again, just a nice room for her and maybe an art, uh, like, activity table where she can do, uh, you know, some drawing and stuff. I'll just change her outfits too because she's still got randomized outfits. Of 150, that's our budget for the house. And then if things are sort of unfinished or if they want to add more later, then they can. But that's sort of the limit that we are working with for their home. So I want something that looks sort of matches this more traditional look. But of course, you know, it can have its own extension or its own style added to it. So yeah, let's just get to it and see what we come up with. lovely uh, brick stone wall sorry from Harry this is from her brownstone collection So I think I'm going to use quite a lot of my uh, CC from the London pack itself. I really, really love how this door looks. And again, it's sort of keeping up with, um, you know, the look that we've gone for for the other homes as well. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. You know, perhaps it isn't sort of the most realistic architecture or something, but we're just having fun with it. And I do really enjoy this lovely green color. Like, look at that. That looks beautiful. So I definitely think it'd be cool to add a chimney uh, here perhaps like on on the side of the house just so it also adds a little bit of shape to it and then here perhaps we could also you know a lot of the time people extend out a little bit to like add a bathroom or so like an extra bathroom so I think it'd be cool to have that and then we could even make this sort of a, a modern uh, balcony because then perhaps, you know, they extended and then they wanted to have like a little balcony on the side here.
what I do imagine this place having been is some sort of shop because of the big windows at the front. Like I could imagine that this was the old library or just the old local shop that people would have went to a lot. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for this sort of layout in the house. I want the kitchen space to actually be in here thinking about making this area sort of have the half wall and then this is gonna be the living room dining room area this I think will probably be either a gym or like a home office and then here's sort of like the path the the not the path but the, the room to get outside into uh, the garden and then up here, what I need to do now though is put the stairs in before I can even think about going upstairs. Okay, yeah, this layout is a little bit strange but I don't think it's too bad. I don't really want to make this room a bit smaller. It's just sort of a skinny room. Um, <laughs> um, but I think it will be okay. I think it will work out in the end. Of course, our wallpapers have disappeared because why wouldn't they? So I'll just pop those back. Um, perhaps, let me think about this a little bit. Perhaps we could put um like the skinnier ones yeah like those again oh actually i think we had them here too so we'll just we'll just pop a few of these over here okay i kind of like the idea of them keeping this more um, traditional fence just on the outside of this little front garden and then of course they've added this one themselves but yeah I just think it looks so cute and I like the red tone because it kind of matches with with the roof as well this is definitely a very different build than what I usually do but to be honest I'm having so much fun just you know experimenting a little bit with different um, sort of color schemes different styles I think that's what it's all about right Okay, the last thing we need to sort of do outside, and I'm not talking sort of about the garden, the back garden, but just this front bit, is add a roof as well. Now, I kind of wanted to add this like mossy uh, looking roof here, just so it looks a little bit more, you know, worn and tarnished and stuff. And then on this bit, I think just like a normal, yeah, like that. I think that's absolutely fine as it is then. And then we'll just add uh, the trim. And we can use one of these like floating range hoods because of course, uh, you know, well, we have to really, <laughs> don't have much choice. I might actually center the oven as well um, to the windows and stuff. Oh, maybe this, I like this. This could be, because that could come out and be sort of a table. Um, so, you know, you could still, for example, we could still pop a, a lovely a lovely chair in here where they can sort of come and sit down and chat to whoever's in the kitchen. Like, look at that. Oh, I like how homey it feels straight away.
like this layout uh, with the dining room sort of being here and you know just having like light touches of the reds and the greens sort of together here and we could perhaps add these little details of a more magical touch <laughs> maybe not the harry potter one but <laughs> sort of along these lines just to give a taste that the family perhaps has dabbled you know in the arts and, and things like that Okay, so this room down here I would say is going to be like the home office but mostly it will be a place for Drew to do, you know, any of his tech uh, related stuff. I kind of like the idea as well here be uh, having like an older desk and imagining that whoever, you know, used to um, own this place, this was their own little office at the back um of, of the yeah of the shop or, or something like that so yeah this is really like an old-fashioned desk of course very fancy though don't get me wrong okay i also think in the office then um perhaps it could also be just a place for drew to sort of come and I don't know, like, yeah, maybe play a bit of darts or something, like, it could be a sort of a hangout spot for him and his friends, you know? Um, so I'm thinking of adding, like, um, uh, let me see, like, some sofas, perhaps? also like the idea of putting this picture here um you know this could have been the original owners or something of the shop so yeah i think that gives a nice sort of feeling of history uh, in this place as well actually get rid of this bit and hmm, I do like it being more open in the space here uh, but at the same time the only place we could put a door is here Okay, so I added these like little windows um, in here because I wanted there to be a nice balance of windows but also, you know, now there is a little bit of light coming through in some of these other rooms and here we've got like the bigger windows. So I think in general we've got pretty much the windows sorted out now and yeah, I think now we can sort of begin building properly we've got about 66 left um for this space and the outdoors so i don't know how we'll how much we'll manage to fit into the outside but um if we can't do a lot that's okay i kind of wanted to challenge myself you know to uh, do it <laughs> on a budget um so yeah that's sort of what we'll go for Yeah, the bed in here is a little bit more traditional again i think they would have refurbished this um we've got some nice little like 
plum tones in the bedroom as well. Uh, but apart from that, I don't know what else to really add in here. Um, I don't think they would have that much in the bedroom. Um, I think the way it is now, it's okay. Is okay. Like we could, of course, add more paintings and stuff, but we don't really have to. I don't feel. Um, and now for the the girls' bedroom, I'm thinking of adding. Yeah, it's gonna be like sort of a foresty vibe in here. I actually quite enjoy the red, the red tones uh, with the the sort of the more monotone leaves over here. Okay, so we definitely want a drawing sort of activity table in here. So we'll buy oh maybe this one uh, could be cool, and we can put it right uh, uh you know against the window. So it will just be so lovely to sit down here and do a little bit of drawing and stuff and maybe we could also add like a, a little diary in here too i'm not too sure if the uh, the girl in this family is going to be treated really really well because her mom is quite evil so it could actually be a cool storyline that Drew, her stepdad, um, sort of looks after her a little bit more and she's closer to him rather than her own mum. I think that's quite a cool, you know, sort of storyline that could happen in this household. But for that reason as well, I don't think she would have a lot of toys and stuff. Like in her room, I think she has like a couple, uh, you know, and obviously she's got everything she needs, but it's not you know, the most, yeah, expensive room, let's say, in the house, right? goodness that is definitely giving me very witchy vibes and i think maybe we don't need to add like a proper um a light source only these little things and then we'll add some more candles around and then i think that's giving me the vibe that i want for in this room These look like the most uncomfortable couches, but I feel like that would have been on purpose just so that their daughter like doesn't spend too long watching the TV or something. Like I feel like, again, as a mom, she's not gonna be the nicest. So it's again, it's not for show because the you know the guests wouldn't really go up here upstairs. So that you can tell that they haven't spent as much sort of money and resources making sure that this spot is nice uh you know for their daughter so now the last bit that's left and i'm so glad we've got a bit of money for is then the outdoor area so i think we'll definitely have sort of like a decking uh coming out here and i don't think necessarily that they'll have i mean actually we could put stairs down here and have like an extension of their garden or should we have it yeah no i'll have it on this side i think there's a little bit more space so we can definitely put a little bit of an extension out here. A 
And this could actually also be a nice place um, to add some, yeah, some sports or something because we actually didn't get to do that. I think I'll be here. I might actually even add like a little, uh, no, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do like a little flower table down there because I think again, to do with all the witchy stuff, it would be cool to have that. Maybe here indeed we could add like a little yoga mat moment um, and maybe even, you know, like a... Um, a little meditation moment as well i hope they can reach that but yeah it will just be cool like this is like drew's little yeah you know drew's little moment drew's little place to come out and do a bit of yoga do a bit of activities um yeah i quite like that So this is sort of, yeah, the little hangout space, eating area, etc. Uh, lots of Jardin stuff used for that. And then we'll have like a little moment here where, you know, we'll have like maybe one toy for the girl, but otherwise it'll really be the world of the mum. <laughs> Um, and maybe Drew could have, I don't know, I can't remember what other fitness equipment we really have in the game. That could be nice here, I'm not really sure we have that many, but yeah, again, it'll probably be more for the dog and the mum. Yeah, like the one thing that the the girl will have is just like monkey bars over here and even then you know probably you shouldn't really want to add the monkey bars but maybe drew sort of pushed her and said well it'll be fun for her you know it's really good um so i think she did it in the end but again the garden will sort of be filled with all of her little pots and stuff and not much space for anyone else or anything else Maybe we could have insects here as well. I'm not sure if they will reach that, but either way, I think it looks cool. Um, and we could even have, you know, like a planter box here as well. I'll just make it like that. There we go. Yeah, that looks... Oh, that, I like that. Yeah. But yeah, so I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed watching this. We're sort of coming towards the end now. So I just want to say, like, thank you so much for watching it. And I hope you enjoyed the sort of more laid back, but explaining, you know, my thought process as I'm doing it. I hope that was at least a little bit fun to watch. If not, you know, and you prefer speed builds, please let me know. But, um, you know, I kind of enjoy doing these, so I don't think I'll stop anytime soon. I forgot I said I need less talk a little more coming to the end now so we'll have the final screenshots but again guys I hope you enjoyed watching it take care of yourselves and I'll see you um, yeah, next time with another build new quest legacy challenge video bye bye everyone change we can try again and make a summer every day I know you've been down I'm still the one in your heart but we can get together and we'll never be apart I want to get down and restart to work of art.
Cash is easy rock. I said, how do you do it? Take everything in stride. When the world don't buy, you gotta go with what's inside. I said, break your chains, stop finding your place. Throw your inhibitions out with all your song days. Don't get your girl, make clear cool your world. Come back and get out of your head, fool. Been living in the sun, every day in your life. Feeling brand new, like my life had just begun. I see you looking.